Upgrading Valve Train is one of the most common mods done to an LS engine. It gives you the ability to install an aftermarket camshaft without worrying about engine longevity or durability. But a key part in the rocker arms is commonly overlooked. When you're looking to upgrade your car's camshaft and valve train, the factory needle bearing trunnions need to be upgraded as well. The needle bearing trunnions work fine with factory components, but they were never meant to handle the added load and pressure from aftermarket valve springs and higher lift camshafts. When they fail, needle bearings will end up throughout your entire engine and they can cause severe engine damage. The bushing style trunnion kit is rated for 300 times more load than a needle bearing trunnion and it gets lubricated via these oil grooves. So this bushing has more lubrication and less load applied to it than a wrist pin bushing in a connecting rod making it dang near bulletproof. Aftermarket trunnions and bushings are a nice upgrade for any LS engine and they're easy to install. I've actually been running a set of these in my 1000 horsepower Cadillac CTSV and they've been holding up great for thousands of miles. I'm going to walk you through an install now to show you how simple it really is. The bushing trunnion setup and installation kit are from Engine Pro. It's designed to deal with added RPMs and higher valve spring pressures you see from aftermarket valve train upgrades. The Engine Pro installation kit includes special parts designed to help remove the factory needle bearing trunnion and reinstall the new trunnion into the factory rocker arm. This kit makes removing and installing these trunnions a piece of cake, but you can use a socket and a hammer if you don't have this kit. First, we need to make sure we clean and dry the rocker arms so we don't make an oily mess all over the place. Once they're clean, place a rocker arm into the vise and use the tools on both sides and hold them in place while you snug the vise. Double check and make sure everything's lined up and the tools pushing solely on the trunnion and not making contact with the body of the rocker arm. Slowly tighten the vise and watch the factory needle bearing move until it pops out. If at any time you feel excessive resistance, stop and reset your tools. After the factory needle bearing is removed, Place one of the new bushings on the side of the rocker and use your vise to slowly push it into place. Once one side's installed, remove the rocker arm from the vise, lubricate the new bushing, and slide the bearing shaft into the bushing. Using the tools provided in the kit, place another bushing on the opposite side of the rocker and tighten the vise until the bushing is flush with the rocker arm. Do not over tighten the bushings as this can keep the shaft from moving freely in the rocker. Once both sides have new bushings and the bearing shaft is installed and moving freely, use snap ring pliers to install snap rings into the grooves on either side of the bearing shaft. Now your rocker arms are ready to handle up to 1000 horsepower and higher RPMs without worrying about needle bearing failure. 